Thursday, Thursday, Thursday in the afternoon. Thursday, I don't care about you. Well, come again next Thursday afternoon. Thursday, Thursday doesn't even start. Thursday, it's Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday's just not far to go. Thursday, watch the walls instead. We can make plans for Thursday night. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Yesterday, Los Angeles had zero NFL teams. And today, they might have two. NFL owners voted 30-2 to to allow the St. Louis Rams to move back to L.A. next season. Not only that, but the San Diego Chargers have the option to join them. They haven't decided what they're going to do yet, but if they pass on the move to L.A., then the Oakland Raiders would be invited to take their place. L.A. had two teams back in the 80s, but the Raiders and the Rams both left after the 1994 season. Los Angeles is building a $2 billion stadium complex for the teams to share, but it isn't going to be ready until 2019. So, in the meantime, the Rams and maybe the Chargers will be at a temporary facility, probably the Los Angeles Coliseum where USC plays. If anyone out there is still looking for an apology from Ricky Gervais because of his jokes during Sunday night's Golden Globes, well, those people are likely to be in for a long wait. After all, Gervais already apologized in advance of what he would likely say during the broadcast a week before the event, knowing for certain that he would cross some lines with his material. Caitlyn Jenner was among those ribbed by Gervais during the show. Hey, if you're willing to risk your child's life on an exploding hoverboard, well, now there's something even more exhilarating. Introducing the Jet Buddy. Yeah, it's an unsafe jet pack for your child. Here's their new ad. Willing to risk your child's life on a hoverboard? Why stop there? Introducing the Jet Buddy. A rocket that straps to your kid's back and hurdles them through the air faster than Buzz Lightyear on crack. Hoverboards peak at 16 miles per hour. The Jet Buddy peaks at, who cares? Safety's not a priority with you. Universally condemned by safety experts, just like hoverboards, the Jet Buddy subjects your kids to the same G-forces that make test pilots gargle their eyeballs. I want down now. Powered by nothing short of El Nino's wrath, the Jet Buddy gives your kid an unforgivable experience. Oops, I mean unforgettable. Give me down now. Hoverboards explode on the ground. Boring. The jet buddy explodes in the air. Hashtag wowzer. Mommy. All the kids are crying for the jet buddy. Endorsed by parents who don't care about their kids everywhere. Bye, Kablamo. It's official. The White House now has an account on Snapchat. 20 years too late, lamented Bill Clinton. Ahmed Best, he's the actor who played Jar Jar Binks, says he'd never return to Star Wars, as if that choice would ever be his. Sean Penn interviewed El Chapo. Steve Harvey was going to interview El Chapo, but he ended up interviewing Charo by mistake. Coochie Coochie. A family in Vermont got their golden retriever back after it had run away and been gone for over 500 days. A break in the case came when authorities were able to track the location of the retriever after it had a secret interview with Sean Penn. The Consumer Electronics Show unveiled a drone that can follow you around and take selfies of you all day long. Yes, apparently it's made by a company called Douchebags Incorporated. Videotape of the very first Super Bowl in 1967 has been found and will be shown on television for the first time after being lost for decades. The original Super Bowl was a little different. The pregame show was only eight hours long. A woman found a bloody fingertip in her salad at an Applebee's in California. That's unbelievable. I mean, someone at Applebee's actually ordered a salad. Kylie Jenner posted a video of herself blowing smoke rings. Who knew there was a rapper named Smoke Rings? Silence of the Lamb star Anthony Hopkins says he was wrong to have kept playing the same character in an increasingly lame series of sequels. Anything you'd care to add, Johnny Depp? And police in Portland are looking for a thief who walked into a pet store and shoved a python down his pants and took off. Police are saying that he's armed and dangerous and appears more dateable than he actually is. 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out the Being Frank Show Fridays at midnight on CHCH Television Hamilton.